All right, it's a new year, so what does that mean? We have a blog post, and we reach out on all the social media channels and more. You can go to adafruit.com slash circuitpython2024. Um, here's some of the first posts. Um, Scott did a roundup of this, and you can see what are the things, um, what people are asking for. What are the things that are what are the things and what are people asking for? So this is your chance to um, get the word out to the team who works on CircuitPython and figure out what's ahead. There's things that we want to improve. There's a lot of nice accolades. We appreciate that, but you know, please, please, please tell us what you want to see in uh, CircuitPython. So DJ Devin is in chat, had some. Um, it's our annual reflection. So make sure you have your uh, Voices heard because whatever version that we're currently on, we're up to nine. Um, there's a good chance if there's something you ask for, you know, it'll happen. So one of the ones was like, um, does Blinken need to install so much stuff? Does it could, could it be a simulator? Um, there's a lot of things that um, like, it's, yeah. And you know what? The thing is, a lot of the people, the requests people have, we actually do get to them. Graphical we projects. Them, but yeah. We do get to them. And it's always good to hear what the community is interested in, because otherwise I have to read your mind, which I can do. But it's just it uses a lot of my Dr. X powers. Yeah. Whatever. So this is going on all throughout the month. Um, we'll continue to uh, ask for your input and more, but you can do it in the chats. You can do it and tag it. You can email us. There's an email address on the blog post. Um, all the ways possible, um, give us the feedback. And like uh, maybe I was saying, we actually get to these things. And then um, the next thing, uh, here's something you didn't ask for. Um, I asked for it. <laughs> well, it's not asked for it. Actually. Well, you didn't ask for it. But um, we have a little bit of a preview um, in Python on hardware this week. Um, actually, before I get to the preview, let me just uh, pop over to the, the newsletter. Don't forget. Um, the newsletter has all this and more. Um, yeah, we went over some of the things uh, that's going on. There's more Raspberry. This last yeah, uh, Thea is a uh, new board president of Oshawa, which we really are excited about because Thea does Circuit Python and hardware stuff. So it's nice having representation on the um, the Oshawa board. Um, manufacturing updates with Raspberry Pi and more. Um, but this came in kind of uh, at the last minute today. And we wanted to show it off. So no one asked for this exactly, but um, you can use a CircuitPython board as a webcam. So take it away, Jepler. Hi, Jepler here. I just wanted to show you something I've been working on. Thanks to a recent contribution to TinyUSB, there's now the possibility to create USB video devices using supported microcontrollers. This happens to be running on an Adafruit macro pad with a uh, Raspberry Pi RP2040. And I've been working on connecting up that code with, to work with CircuitPython. Right now, my code.py is running, and it's creating a, this horizontally scrolling test pattern you see. The test pattern is created by some optimized CircuitPython loops that directly access the bitmap memory. Now I want to show you something else it can do. I am going to go ahead and enter the REPL and paste some code I've prepared. As you can see, it is using JPEG.io to open a file and decode it directly into the UVC bitmap. And when I go ahead and run that, Blinka does in fact appear. This code is in a very experimental state right now, uh, but now that we know it's possible, it's time to figure out how best to allow access from CircuitPython, possibly by making the UVC device into a display I.O. display. Stay tuned to the newsletter. We do this on Adafruit Daily, delivered to your inbox every single week. We do this at a separate website because we don't want your store account to have anything to do with the newsletters you sign up and more. We don't use it as a sale or monetizing thing. Um, we probably could or should, um, but no. that's, not, that's not how we operate. Crazy. Uh, so if you want newsletters, go to our newsletter site. If you want to do store stuff, go to our store site. Um, you got to keep them separated. Yeah. And uh, sign up. Do it every week.